When it comes to monsters and terrifying creatures, most people have a vivid imagination that makes them visualize beasts out of the worst nightmares. However, the real monsters belong to the earthly world. They are in our jungles, plains, and forests, where the truly horrifying happens, and today, we're going to prove it to you. Get ready to take a journey through one of the least populated places in Africa, which is the home of a beast that has kidnapped hunters, explorers, and researchers. Come with us on a journey to Africa, and you'll discover the murderous Tyrannosaurus that still lives among us. The Killer Tyrannosaurus Still Living Among Us To begin this journey into the heart of the greatest mystery of the Democratic Republic of Congo, we must go back to 1932, when the owner of several farms and plantations, John Johansson, traveled through the local region accompanied by a guide. Although John owned the land, he had never set foot on his property until that day. For John, the Congo was a place full of unknown creatures. In the jungles and plains of this territory, animals grew to enormous, deformed sizes. The insects seemed to have a conscience that attacked with rage, and even game animals were truly difficult adversaries to defeat. Still, John loved to hunt, and after walking through its plantations, he decided to mount an expedition into the jungle. Of course, his brilliant idea quickly began to seem fatal. The jungle was suffocating. Mosquitoes followed them and fed on their bodies, and even the birds seemed to look at them with menacing eyes. However, after half a day of hunting and trails that took them deep into the heart of the Kasei Valley jungle, something unusual happened. John noticed almost immediately there was no sound in that terrain. The din of insects seemed to have been muted. Something similar was happening with the birds and other creatures. Only the footsteps on the ground and the breathing of John and his guide could be heard. Something wasn't right, and after going a little deeper into the trail, they discovered why. John had to stifle a cry as the guide forced him to crouch down in the brush. A few feet away, a sickening, brutal sound became audible. Slowly, John raised his head, dreading the image he was about to encounter. And then, he saw it. On the ground, the carcass of a male rhino lay open from neck to stomach. There was blood everywhere, but the most horrible thing was that the monster was on top of the carcass, enjoying the animal's flesh. The creature defied all logic. It was a deep reddish color with black stripes. Its snout was long and square. Its teeth tore flesh apart with chilling ease as small, sharp teeth emerged from its mouth in jack rows. Its size was terrifying. It was about 13 meters long and its legs were as thick as those of a hippopotamus. The most curious thing was that the creature appeared semi-erect and the arms were much smaller than the rest of the body. John couldn't believe what was in front of him. Although his eyes didn't betray him, the creature fit perfectly with the images John had read about during his childhood in biology books. That creature could only be a dinosaur. There was no doubt about it. For an instant, John thought about whether he should try to catch the animal. He had a loaded rifle, but once he had fired, if the animal didn't fall, John could be dead. The risk was too high, so he decided to return to the nearest village and talk to the hunters in the area. To his surprise, John wasn't the first to spot the Kasai Rex a jungle monster known by the aboriginal natives as the most fearsome beast in the region. This encounter went down in history thanks to the Rhodesia Herald newspaper. John was interviewed by a couple of journalists from this newspaper and the story became popular, although it was far from the first time this has happened in the Kasai Valley. In fact, before John, numerous explorers had encountered the creature, although they had never managed to catch it. The native tribes had no better luck either, as the Kasai Rex was blamed for numerous disappearances and attacks on the tribes. The most curious thing is that another much more disturbing sighting was recorded during that same year. The protagonist in this case was an anonymous hunter who went into the jungle with his children. At first, the man had no idea of the existence of the Kasai Rex, but he soon discovered it. According to their story, after several hours of hunting, something unusual happened in the depths of the jungle. A horrifying sound shook them all. 
When they tried to find the source, they discovered that it came from two severely wounded elephants fleeing from their predator. At first, the hunter was perplexed. Before his eyes, a creature over 13 meters long was chasing the helpless animals. It had the head of a lizard and the teeth of a crocodile. Of course, the danger was enormous, as the group was vulnerable in the creature's path. Therefore, unlike John, the man didn't hesitate. He picked up his rifle and unloaded three swift shots. The blast echoed throughout the jungle, but only one bullet penetrated the thick skin of the presumed dinosaur. The beast's scream was blood-curdling. The creature was astonished, incredulous, and completely confused. However, the man took advantage of that instant of doubt to flee with his children from the scene. However, the creature soon followed them. The chase was desperate, but fortunately, they reached a swamp. There, they were submerged up their waists, which proved effective as the Kasyrex decided not to follow them. The creature stayed there, staring at them. Then, the hunter saw the camera hanging from his son's neck. He immediately grabbed it and quickly photographed the monster in that valley. This alleged photograph has been circulated on social networks and numerous places on the internet. Of course, the image is old and doesn't seem to be conclusive. Some consider that the creature it depicts could be a simple monitor lizard, while others claim that it's indeed a finding that reveals the existence of a dinosaur that has somehow managed to survive among humans. The hunter was interviewed by numerous newspapers and his account went down in history as another witness to the ferocity of this strange cryptid. Unfortunately, to date, no one has been able to prove the actual existence of his monster. Although theories suggest that the creature does indeed exist and prowls the most inhospitable places in the Democratic Republic of Congo, there is still insufficient evidence to affirmatively conclude its existence. However, this isn't the first time that such a phenomena has caused concern in the peripheral regions of a country. Without going any further, Australia is one of the main homes of monstrous and inexplicable creatures whose existence is closer to reality than to fantasy. Would you like to check it out? If you're really interested in learning about the most disturbing creatures on the planet, you'd better follow us in the videos below and find out for yourself what's really from what's imaginary. Ready? Here are the videos.